what's up everybody so we're back on the shop with another daily vlog series and this series is going to be focused on consistency because we're going to be making three knives now whenever i make a knife out of some bar stock i always have scrap pieces left over there's all kinds of different little scrap pieces and what we're going to do is we're going to make some knives out of those scrap pieces now i got this idea from simple little life's channel he had a uh, build that he did about a week and a half ago or a little bit more than that um, it was called the scrap knife challenge is what he had in his thumbnail and he just took a piece of scrap steel turned it into a little EDC and I thought it was cool and I always had these little cutoff pieces so I figured let's do that but don't just make one let's make three and actually focus on keeping them the same as we go through because y'all haven't really seen me make three different knives in a video even though I do that often, I'll make more than one knife, but I only show y'all one when I'm doing the build series. So we're gonna make three knives. And uh, like I said, we're gonna focus on consistency with this. So the goal for today is get the shape cut out on the porter band saw, get them ground down, and really focusing on keeping them the same shape all the way through all three of them. Then we're gonna get the pinholes marked and we're gonna be using the calipers. We're gonna be making sure again that we're focusing on consistency with that. We're going to break it down. We're gonna get it done. Let's go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna go ahead and get this cut out on the porta bandsaw. And this is gonna be a little bit different than what y'all normally see me do. I normally cut all the excess off and go straight to the line so that I have the least amount of grinding as possible. But for these, I wanna focus on keeping them consistent. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cut and leave excess steel on here so that we can grind back to our line all on the two x 72 belt grinder. That's all we're doing right now is we're getting them rough cut, nothing super defined, just getting the shapes cut out so that we can go on to the next step. And the next step is getting them to their exact shape on the 2x72. And what we're doing is we're grinding all the way to the drawn line and then getting rid of that line. So we are going to grind down all the way past that line to where that line is no longer on the knife. And once we get the first one done, we're gonna go on to the next one but as we're doing the next one we're going to be laying them on top of each other so we've got one done now it's time to go ahead and get the second one done and we're going to do the same exact thing where we're grinding all the way back to the line and then just past it to get rid of it and i could do this on pretty much all my knives but I like to go ahead and cut off a lot of the stock with the bandsaw as opposed to grinding back just like this, but for the sake of keeping them consistent and not accidentally going past it, we're doing it this way. And I'm just taking my time here. I know that this is a lot of footage to watch because I am doing this to three knives and I'm not skipping anything. All I did was time lapse this. There's nothing taken out of it, nothing edited out of it. This is just a time lapsed version of what actually happened as I was making these. And we are just focusing on keeping them the same shape as we go through. I stack them on top of each other over and over and over again to make sure that I'm getting them how I want them. And then what I'll do is I'll take the first one that I did and stack it on top of the second one and the last one. 
What you don't want to do is you don't want to take the first one, stack it on top of the second one, then take the second one and stack it on top of the third one. You want to just go off of the first one that you did and make the other two match that. If you're going to be doing three knives, if you're going to be going just two, you know, do the math. <laughs> now, we get this last one, round down. By the time you do the last one, you're almost an expert at grinding the particular knife, but you want to make sure that you're still stacking on top of each other and getting them the exact same shape. And the point behind this is we're going to be measuring them all off of the same measurements, and if they're not all the exact same shape, then you got to go through and measure everything separately. I don't want to do that. I want to measure all of them with one caliper setting on each knife. And guys, y'all tell me if y'all think that this video was too long or drug on too much. I'm trying my hardest to give y'all as much info as possible while I'm doing this and actually letting y'all see the process. I know that sometimes it can get a little monotonous just watching this, but I want to give y'all a lot of detail. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and shape the cutting edge and smooth it out just a little bit more with all three knives clamped together. And we're smoothing it so that when we go to the next step and draw out the actual center line for the bevels, that the line stands out really well. Well, we're going to go ahead and take this big magic marker and just color the entire sides of these blades because we're going to need to scribe in some lines and measurements and things like that. And when it came to figuring out where I was going to put the plunge lines, I tried doing calipers in a few different areas, but what I settled on was actually just measuring it from the base of the finger choil and just doing that so that all of them are measured off of the distance from the finger choil to the plunge line. And then I just use a straight edge to mark the plunge line where I'm going to actually start it on each blade. And now that those are all even, we need to go ahead and start figuring out where we're going to put the pin holes. So we're just going to take the calipers, measure, and mark a line down the spine of all three blades. And then we're going to start figuring out how far we want the back pinhole away from the back of the tang. And now we're going to go ahead and do the second pinhole, which is closer to the Ricasso. And we're just going to get the measurement set it in place, and then go ahead and mark that on all three blades. Now that we have that marked, we need to go ahead and mark one more line, and this will actually give us the true center of the hole that we're gonna be using as the lanyard hole. So we're gonna be punching in the center of this little triangle right here. Now we're going to take the punch, we're going to go ahead and punch in all the center marks for these pinholes. Now we got all three of those set up and ready to go. Alright, so that wraps up today's daily vlog. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. We got a knife. We got a second knife. We got a third knife. <laughs> so we focused on consistency with this video and just trying to keep it to where we're going slow and we're doing things as evenly as we can and as consistent as we can. And that's how we got that. I mean, you can see through that pinhole and that small pinhole and there is three knives there. So all the way through that, 
Let's recap what we did. Now, we went ahead and we got them cut on the porter band saw and we cut just a rough shape. We left a lot of excess on there because we were planning on grinding that back and really focusing on keeping them even as we're doing it, double checking each one on each other. And then we went ahead and got the holes drilled. We measured them all out. We used the calipers to make sure that each one was measured the same. And that's how we got the consistency with the pinholes. So it's just about taking your time and you know the whole measure twice, cut once stop deal. Take your time, be patient, and try and focus on that consistency. Don't rush through it. What are we going to be doing next? We're going to be doing bevels. We're going to do heat treat. We're going to do temper. I'm going to break all that stuff down for you, tell you how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it. We're going to talk about how thick we're going to make the edge. We're going to focus on grinds, all that stuff. That's what we're going to do on the next video. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel so you get notified of whenever we actually do that and release that. And guys, if you haven't yet, give this a video a thumbs up. Share this video or a video that I've done in the past that might be your favorite. And guys, thank you all for coming by. Thank you for checking all of those out. Y'all have an amazing day. Catch y'all next time.